In this lesson, we're going to spend a little more time taking a look at uh, titanium and specifically uh, some of the basics of developing apps within this environment. I want to focus on just the basic window, um, the structures of windows, and how uh, windows and views are sort of these hierarchical compositions uh, that, uh, um, that use uh, essentially containment as a way of <clears throat> of organizing different uh, different objects and, and different widgets, um, so I have a, uh, a basic picture here of uh, window structure. Um, we see that uh, windows contain views and other objects. So you can have uh, windows. Uh, essentially, these are the things that you see on the screen, and contained within them are. A number of views, and these views can be things like buttons, uh, but they can also be a generic view that contain uh, other objects. So, for instance, I can have a view that contains another view, uh, and it just gives us a nice little organizational way of uh, being able to uh, compose our interfaces uh, based on the different kinds of objects that are contained within them. Uh, also allows us to partition the window, partition the view into different sections so that uh, we can manage them uh, separately and then aggregate them all into a particular window so that we can uh, well, we can keep them within a, a particular operating context. So <clears throat> objects are configured using uh, CSS style properties uh, and I want to show how that actually works. I have an example here in a slide. Um, I want to actually implement this uh, within a uh, uh, within a simple application. So let me go ahead and do that. I've created a uh, a new application called myHW. Um, stands for My Hello World, and uh, this is uh, just based on using the uh, uh, the the wizard for creating a new application. When I open up app.js, you see that it's created a bunch of stuff. Uh, as a default, I'm going to just go ahead and remove all of that. Um, I don't need any of it. And uh, again, within the iPhone and Android directories, these are um, automatically generated um, uh, pieces. These are mostly image files that are being used. OK, so what I want to do is I want to create um, a simple window um, that contains different objects. And one of the points that I wanted to make was that uh, when you create an object, and actually a creative view or a window, um, the objects are configured using CSS style properties. Um, so um, I'm going to create a new window. Um, actually, var win is equal to ti titanium. Titanium is the main namespace for the environment. And then UI is uh, another part of the namespace. This contains all of the user interface elements. And then I'm going to use a function called create window. And within that, I'm going to use, uh, there's these curly braces that um, are essentially used to define the different properties of, um, of a window. Actually, let me leave that blank for now, uh, and I'm just going to open up the window. So, window open. And when I create this application, I run it in the simulator, I should get actually just a blank window. Um, so, let me go ahead and do that. So, we're running the iOS simulator. It would look similar uh, in Android. I'm going to run it in iOS because it does uh, come up a little bit faster than if I were doing it in Android. And we should uh, actually see a window that has nothing in it. Um, let's wait a moment here for this to come up. Here it is. So eventually this will launch the application. We should get a, a basic splash screen and then we'll get the app blank window. Let's see. Actually, this that might oh something uh, something happened here. I tried again. Give it a second. All right. Here's my window. 
the splash screen, and then I should get a blank window. So here is my blank window. It has nothing in it. It's actually just a black screen. And um, so what I want to do is I want to do some configuration on this window. Uh, let's make that a white screen instead of black screen. And so I'm going to use one of these CSS style properties. I'm just like background color. And I'm just going to use the, uh, uh, the textual name for the color white. I could also use a uh, character code for this. And let's go ahead and run that again. So the simulator will come up here in a moment. There's a splash screen, and then here's our white window. Okay, so uh, anyway, we can use this um, uh, the CSS style um, parameters or properties to define the uh, um, the properties of our of our window. Um, and so, what I want to do is uh, just kind of show you within the documents of that accelerator all the documentation uh, where you can find all those different properties. So if you go to docs.accelerator.com um, you'll be brought to this window. You can read the API docs. <clears throat> um, and so for instance if I go to ti.ui.window Look under properties. These are all the different properties that I can set for my um, for my window. Okay, one of the ones that I like to use is the layout property. So this tells me the different uh, ways of laying out different objects that show up on the screen. I can do vertical layout, I can do a horizontal layout, I can do an absolute layout, um, and you can take a look at the the uh, documentation and see what each of these does. I, I'm going to use vertical layout in the example that I'm working on here um, to see uh, what actually happens when I place things into my into my window. So, oops, layout, layout, vertical. Okay, so I want to add some things to this uh, to this window. Um, I want to add. Um, I want to add some labels. I'm going to add one label. Uh, there's a shorthand for titanium and the namespace. You can use TI instead of the full titanium. So I'm going to use that here. I'm going to create a label. And in this label, I'm going to set the properties for, um, uh, for the label. Again, uh, using this CSS style um, um, property uh, specification, and I'm going to set the text to hello world, and I'm going to set the color of my text to red. <clears throat> and actually, let me do this. I'm going to say hello as my label, and then I need to uh, add this uh, this label to the window. So I'm going to do win dot add. And like I said, um, the uh, the different um, uh, views and windows and what whatnot are hierarchically composed. So when I do the, something like this add, uh, what it essentially does is uh, takes that uh, that object. In this case, it's a label, and it puts it into uh, the membership of the window. Uh, and then based on the way that you lay it out, it gets placed onto the screen. So we're just doing this basic. Uh, vertical layout at the moment. Uh, when I run this program, which I'll start the execution now, um, I should get a uh, a label in the middle of my screen um, that uh, shows this text. Let's wait for the simulator to come up here. Is Oh, uh, add. Win dot. 
Oh, huh, yes. I did this wrong here. It should be label zero. Try it again. So there it is. So there's my text. Um, and it's taken that label and it's put it into my window. Um, um, we're laying out vertically. So everything that I add to the to the window after this will just be will just come vertically. Uh, uh, we'll follow this uh, this text. So let me add my next label. Call uh, label one, and use world there, and then I'm going to add label one to this window. Let's go ahead and run that. There we go. So hello world. So those uh, and there, I use this vertical layout, and so they are laid out one after another. Um, anyway, so just some things to, uh, to point out here again. I've I've created some objects. I've created these windows. This actually this window object, uh, and then these views. These create these labels, um, which um, I'm calling them objects, um, but in the documentation for uh, for all the different um, kinds of things that we can place in the windows, uh, this label is actually technically a view. Um, so anyway, let me just do one more thing here. Let me change this vertical layout to horizontal. And let's run it again. Now what should happen here is uh, the layout manager is going to place these things side by side rather than, rather than on top of each other. So when we see this up on the screen, uh, they are indeed placed adjacent to one another. Uh, there's a number of other uh, uh, properties that we can set for uh, affecting the uh, uh, affecting the the layout. Uh, so for instance. Um, with the label, uh, there is a left and right, as well as a top and bottom there, which, uh, depending on the type of layout algorithm you're using, uh, will affect the placement of the object. So let's change uh, this back to vertical and set um, top to 10 and for this one I'm going to set top to 50. So what this is going to do is uh, it's first going to, to uh, uh, let's see, I've got um, done something here see properties there's a top property for a label um, okay oh I forgot a comment here okay so what happened what's going to happen is that uh, uh, the first uh, label is going to be placed um, uh, 10 pixels from the top of the screen um, and then um, uh, and then this uh, this label is going to be placed uh, um, 50 pixels from the uh, position of the previous uh, uh, the previous label that was placed on so this should actually place be placed uh, roughly 60 pixels um, from the top of the screen um, so Let's go ahead and run that as well. Again, putting that in the 
simulator. So again, using, so this is roughly 10 pixels uh, from the top here. This one is roughly 50 pixels from the, um, the bottom of the previous, um, uh, the previous label. So anyway, um, again, uh, to uh, point out uh, the uh, things I wanted to cover with this particular podcast, um, we have windows that are composed hierarchically. Um, these windows uh, can be composed with a number of views, and so what you do is you create the window, and then you create the views, and then you add them to the window. That's essentially what we did with, uh, with this code here. Created the window, created the different views, in this case two labels, added those to the windows, and then opened. Um, and then we can do a CSS style um, configuration of different, uh, different objects by doing things like setting these properties, and that affects, the, uh, uh, affects how they appear on the screen. So anyway, that is uh, the conclusion of this particular lesson. Um, again, uh, the, uh, uh, the main point here, uh, simple, uh, simple hello world program, um, but some fairly interesting things that you can do with uh, just creation and setting properties. And, uh, and then again, um, the, this whole idea of composition of different, um, different views within Windows um, being uh, hierarchically composed. Anyway, that concludes this, uh, uh, this lesson.